And welcome back to what is probably our fifth video in the Volkswagen Myers Manx restoration. And um, we're actually on the head. So we're working on the cylinder head now. We're reseeding and cleaning up the valves. The valves themselves, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this in the video, they're covered in crap. I mean, the dirt just help, but they're actually not burnt. So they're still quite good valves. So we're going to show you how to clean a valve up and how to reseed a valve. And we're going to be a little bit dodgy in this one, but bear with us. So we're going to go over first to get all this crap off this valve. I like your way through, sheets full of shit. You might want to turn down your volume a bit here because it's going to get a bit noisy. But we've got the wire wheel on the bench grinder, and we're going to give this a clean up. going to do it by hand. If you're not comfortable doing it by hand, then you obviously use a set of grips or pliers, but it's all about just getting an even turn, don't let it flatten out in there. quick look over. And as you see all the carbon is now off the top and all the scale and all the rust is now off the bottom. So it's now time to reseed it. So we're head back over to the cylinder here. Seat of valve. You can do this a couple of different ways. I'm going to show you the, sort of the quick and easy way for a DIY. First thing you need is what's called valve grinding paste. And then usually in the tube you actually get two different uh, grits, so you get a coarse and a fine grit uh, at either ends. Then you just liberally add some grinding paste to the head of the to the actual valve itself. Just make sure you get it nice and evenly around, or as evenly as you can get it. Just keep on because we're going to take the ridge off. Normally, these have a ridge on them, so we want to rip any ridges back and just get it so it marries up quite nicely. So we're going back through. Now, at this point, normally you'd use what's called a valve lapping tool, but unfortunately, our valve lapping tools, and I'll just show you what one looks like. Right? So, a valve lapping tool would look like that. Unfortunately, these ones have now since perished and they're of no use. So, if you're not doing motors all the time, here's a little bit of a backyard trick. That is to tilt your cylinder head over, I grab your old trusty yeah, drill I'll out, and just marry it up onto the back of the valve. Set your drill to the lowest possible speed. So this is only really something that should be done if you've got a variable speed drill. And I don't know if we'll be able to see this. I might actually have to sort of block the head up a bit so you can see it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that now. Well, that's a bit sort of a dangerous. We might just move that out of the way then. Just do it this way. And just drag it back. Not a lot of speed's needed. And every now and then just swap your direction. So you can forward to reverse. No, 
after a little, I just take it out and give it a look. You just want to make sure it's got a polished face. There's no pits left in it, no little sort of marking on it. So you just take it out, give it a clean up. You always basically just get a nice mirrored finish on it. So we just gonna have a quick look. I just want to have a look and make sure that it's got no pits or markings on it. So that actually needs to go back in with a bit more coarse paste. So we'll put a bit more paste on it and put it back in. Another run. It would happen if I didn't help if I didn't have my hand drill and hammer function too. Chuck off the valve. This happens from time to time, but it's more because I just don't want to tighten up too much. See, see how it's come up. As you see, it looks a lot better. And now we'll put a bit of fine paste on it and we'll finish it off. So you see, after every run, you've got to clean out the surface to make sure you don't leave any of the paste over from the last time. So, as I said on the tube, that end was the coarse, this end's the fine, it's a lot lighter in its colour and a lot smooth, uh, smoother in its consistency. So we just give it a run around. We go again. Now we just get out and check it again. And even though you can't see it on the camera, that is actually done. The other thing you'll notice, of course, on the cylinder head itself with the valve seats, it's of course nicely polished up now. We just remove any excess cutting material out of it, and we're done. 
Now I've just got to do the rest. So thank you very much for watching this portion of the video and we'll catch up with you soon. Welcome back. Part two of the video. It's all good. We can be excited now because the heads are pretty much finished. We've still got to put the springs, the collets back on the valves. But other than that, we're pretty much finished. So what we have done between the last video and this video is we tried to take the studs out. Now, most of the studs on this head, or actually all the studs on this head, actually snapped out. So we've actually drilled them out and re-tapped them. So these are all brand new tapped threads. They're 8 mil by 1.25 mil which is actually the original thread of the stud that was going into it. We've done that on both sides. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get the old studs out, so we've literally just tapped straight through the old studs. And obviously, we still have to get rid of some of the slag, but that's neither here nor there. On this one, we're actually a little bit luckier. These studs weren't too bad. They do look a lot ratty than what they are, but we're able to clean these threads up, so these threads have been cleaned up. And we'll probably just give them a bit of a touch up with a wire brush just to make them look nice. But we've been able to save these ones, same on this side, we're able to save this one. We've just been able to tap the, just clean the thread up. And of course, this stud, which was in this hole, actually just came out with a stud removal tool, which made it very nice. So, pretty much we're at the point now with these heads. We will actually probably just, in the next video, bang the springs and collets on them. These heads will then be done, and then we'll be back to the block. And that will be probably video sort of six or seven. So, Thank you very much for tuning in. Remember to rate, subscribe, leave comments, and um, we'll see you next time.